All right, so students are back in classrooms after a year of learning at home, but what if schools didn't need teachers anymore, or at least not human ones? All right, Dana Arshin reports for our series AI All In. Hello, I'm ready to go. This could be a glimpse into the future of our classrooms, artificial intelligence right in front of our children. When I make the connections with the students, then they are more comfortable in discussing things. They are more open. Human connections that are being enhanced by artificial intelligence. Cutting edge technology is making its way into the classroom. Although it's in the early stages, some schools around the country are now incorporating AI into the curriculum. There are different programs out there, but they operate on the same principle, and that students learn while interacting. I'm sorry, say it again. That means how often a student is speaking and how engaged they are. The artificial intelligence is an additional set of eyes and ears on the class. The goal is to point out the students who, for whatever reason, are not as involved as others. Right. We think that that's, that'll be an incredible assistance to the teacher just to track what's going on and help the, the lesson proceed and for the education that you want. One of the programs out there is Teach FX. That's kind of what, what we've been developing over the last several years is technology that can really parse the very messy audio of a classroom environment. Teach FX is an app for teachers that actually measures student engagement. This is done by providing data on how often a student would interact and what questions prompted that interaction. That gives me a snapshot of the class. You know, how much did I talk? How much did the students talk? Teach FX has already made its way into classrooms and another program will soon make its way to schools. Put the blue block on the green block. Okay. Meet Diana. Doesn't have a, a virtual presence except maybe, maybe kind of a, an iPad face that has eyes that kind of show that it's, it knows who's talking. Diana is the brainchild of scientists from Colorado State and Brandeis Universities. It can listen to a command and take action. What we've focused on in the Diana system is to try to create a uh, an environment that is a 3D simulation of a human and an, uh, a computer or a synthetic robot interacting with one another. It's done by recreating my environment through multiple cameras and uh, she is able to see my face, so my countenance. The next step in the evolution of AI in the classroom is interacting with students. The next phase of that would be to do the little bit of nudging to say, can you can you tell me more about that? Both Teach FX and Diana have a common goal, making sure the voices of all students are heard and the teacher's message is getting through to everyone in the classroom. Trying to close the opportunity gap between students of color, uh, different ethnicities, even gender. Um, and we had looked at that as how we can close that gap. So what we're trying to do to zoom it, to take it back to us, yeah. is, is show um, the, the root causes of these equity gaps that you might experience in education, which we know are so strong between like white kids and kids of color. Make sure that no one's being left out of a discussion because of behavioral issues, shyness. Right now, there are AI-driven learning apps to help teachers, and coming soon, an animated character on screen that will interact with students, possibly within the next year. So what's next? Where essentially it's a virtual presence of a synthetic robot or an avatar in the classroom with them, and essentially able to see what everyone's doing. There's some hope there's some discussion of bringing in actual uh, robotic uh, devices. As students come back to school for in-person learning, some just might find another set of eyes ready to help them on their academic journey. Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News. Man, as long everything's as going to I know, robots. as long as it's to help, not replace. We I still know. need actual <laughs> human like, being teachers. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to have robots raising our kids.